Hi, my name is Alexey Barzinkov. In this video, I will show how to migrate WinForms or WPF application from .NET Framework to .NET Core. As an example, let's take a small WinForms application Tiny Painter. The application was changed a bit in order to cover more cases during the migration. For the migration, we will be using Visual Studio 2019 and .NET Core SDK 3.0. To determine which version of .NET Core you are using, just type .NET dash dash version. As we can see, the version 3.0 is used here. .NET Core application have new CS Proj file format and we need to get a valid one for the migration. Creating the simplest WinForms application for .NET Core, we need to type .NET New WinForms. If you need to create a WPF application, just type WPF instead of WinForms. But in our case, it will be WinForms. Cool, we've just created the simplest WinForms application for the .NET Core. Let's try to run it. We are typing .NET Run. We've got Hello.NET Core WinForms application. Now let's move on to the migration process. This is the folder where the source code for the Tiny Painter application is located. Ideally, it will be good to have an ability to build the application using .NET Framework and .NET Core in parallel, using the same code base. This can be achieved by having a separate solution file for .NET Framework and another one for .NET Core. And definitely, you will need two CS project files. Let's create a copy of the solution file and do the same for the project file. We are adding the suffix core and copy CS project file from just created hello.net core WinForms application to the tiny painter application folder and rename it to the tiny painter and add the suffix core. Ok, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio 2019 and open our new solution. In the solution, let's add a new project with the suffix core. We are deleting the old one and let's try to build this application. As we can see, there are several errors. This has happened because for the .NET Core application these attributes are generated by MS Build and we have duplications. The same attributes already exist in the assembly info file. You don't want to delete the assembly info file because it's used by the old version of CS Proj file. How can this be resolved? We are going to use the preprocessor directives. We can disable these attributes for .NET Core 3.0. Let's do it. If not .NET Core 3.0, then we will use these attributes. For .NET Core applications, additional assembly information is located in the CS Proj file. We can define it using the UI or just update the CS Proj file.
Let's build our application again. Now we have the following error. As we can see, the performance counter class is not defined. You should add a reference to the assembly where the performance counter class is declared. How can this be achieved? Let's ask Google to help us. As we can see, the class is declared in the system diagnostics namespace. Guys from Microsoft developed lots of NuGet packages for the .NET Core which have names similar to namespaces. Let's add a reference to the required NuGet package. Just put the system diagnostic to the search box. And as we can see, there are several packages related to the system diagnostics namespace. But we definitely need the system diagnostics performance counter package. We are installing this package into our project. And we will try to build our application again. Oops, still no luck. The error says there is no definition for update main graph method. Why? We successfully built our solution in Visual Studio 2017. But we have a weird error in Visual Studio 2019. What is the reason? Let's look at it closer. Our track tool CS file is located in the tools folder. Let's open Visual Studio 2017 and check the tools folder. As we can see, there is no track tool CS file in the tools folder in Visual Studio 2017. Why? Because all .NET Core applications have a new CS project file format which does not include all CS files. When the new CS project file is used, Visual Studio just scans the project folder and loads all CS files. We had the compilation error because in the project folder there is a track to CS file which is not used anymore. Just somebody forgot to delete it. Obviously we can delete it without a doubt. Let's try to build the application once more. Finally, if successfully build it. Okay, now let's try to run it. Oops, we've got a new runtime error. It could not find an appropriate resource for the arrow image. Why? Because we've changed csproject file name by adding the suffix core and automatically changed the default namespace. Let's fix it also. On the application tab, we will revert the assembly name and the default namespace to the initial values. And we will try to build and run our application again. Yes, it just migrated WinForms application from .NET Framework to .NET Core 3.0. The application is working as expected. The additional functionality is working as well. Perfect. Initially, our idea was to have an ability to build the application using .NET Framework and .NET Core in parallel using the same code base. Let's go back to Visual Studio 2017 and we will try to build our application. Oh my god! We have an unexpected error. It's quite weird. Your project does not reference .NET Framework 4.5.2. It's not clear how the error can be related to our changes during the migration. Don't try to understand the error message directly. Let's clean the project and we will see if it helps or not. We are trying to rebuild. However, it doesn't help and we have the same error. The fact is that Visual Studio 2019 creates files in the opt folder which conflicts with Visual Studio 2017. 
The problem can be resolved by deleting the opt folder. Let's do it. OK, now let's build our application again. Everything is fine. Our application is successfully built and is working well. Now the application is working on .NET Framework 4.5.2. So, let's see what we got. We have two versions of the Tiny Painter application. One of them is working on .NET Core 3.0 and another one on .NET Framework 4.5.2. What else can be useful during the migration to .NET Core? This is Microsoft Windows Compatibility NuGet package. It includes lots of packages and you can just add a reference to one NuGet package instead of adding several references to each package. Also, there is a CS approach to VS 2017 open source utility. It can help to convert CS approach file from old format to a new one, which is used in .NET Core. The utility can be used in a command line interface and it allows to migrate project files or even the whole solution. You can try it. That's it. As you can see, the migration of WinForms or WPF application from .NET Framework to .NET Core is possible and not so scary. My name is Alexey Barzinkov and I'll be happy to get your feedbacks.